Okay, so we want to transfer some files um, from Music B to a portable device, otherwise known as synchronizing or syncing. Um, so all we need to do first of all is make sure that we've got Music B open. Um, I've got mine minimized down here, so there we go. Um, please ensure you've plugged in your portable device um, or phone or MP3 player. Um, having done so, you'll notice it will appear over here by devices. Um, mine actually does say portable device. Yours may say iPhone or Samsung or whatever make it is. Um, but just make sure it does appear under devices. Uh, first thing we need to do is make sure that we've got a playlist created. So we've got to playlist here on the left hand side and if we right click on that, go to new and then create a new playlist and then we can put in some relevant um, name for that. So we're going to call it car, click on OK. We now have a car list generated, a playlist generated on the left hand side. Okay, so to add albums or tracks to that playlist, we simply go to our music library and then we can search for the individual tracks or albums. So I'm going to go with a band called Dare, which I've recently put in. And there's an album here called Sacred Ground. So if I click on Sacred Ground, it obviously populates all the tracks, tell you a bit more detail. So what I need to do now is right click on that album image, go to where it says Add to Playlist down to where it says car or whatever name you've created so obviously mine says car and then click it. Now that would have taken that information and placed it into the playlist called car which we can confirm by clicking on it and there you'll see all the tracks for the sacred ground. Assuming that's the only one you want obviously if you want more then just go back into music and then select another album or another track and then right click go down to playlist and then select the playlist you want to place it into. So we go over to portable device click this one once and we just need to make sure that the synchronized playlists is ticked, that the selected playlists only has a radio dot in it and that the playlist you wish to synchronize is ticked. So you might be you've got four or five in here um, but obviously um, if you tick one of them the others will be deleted. If you tick them all then obviously it will update dependent on what situation you are with each. I generally only work with one playlist at a time. So if we leave that with car if we then go over to the button top right hand side over by where we've got the DARE logo, um, if I go to preview, what it's doing is it's telling me what action it's going to perform. If I already had tracks in there, it may well say that we're going to delete some, um, but in this instance we are just going to copy. So all I need to do now is click on the synchronize button. It will copy those files across. Shouldn't take too long, as long as you've got a nice fast PC. So we just wait for that to complete. Okay, just another two to do. Obviously, if you do an awful lot of them, then uh, give yourself some time. It also tells you down the bottom left hand side the percentage um, completed. That's actually done. Um, you'll notice that in my portable device, I've now got a playlist appear. It says car, and indeed, it does have the tracks within it um, for Dare. That's it. That's as simple as that.